and I want to take you guys on a journey over to Virginia where we recently visited Danville Community College and the Gene Haw Center for Integrated Machining. They're bringing the individuals into the college to teach them manufacturing and they're bringing up a young workforce. They're doing it right at Danville Community College. Check it out. Hey, Troy, Hi, very Dan. nice Good to meet you. Yes, sir. Welcome to Danville Community College. Oh, thanks for having me. Advanced CNC machining right here in Virginia, making it happen. I love it. Manufacturing literally saved my life. I think when I was 14, I'd already been arrested 21 times. When I was 22 years old, I was not only in a 16-year prison sentence, I was in there in six months in solitary confinement. I lost my way in life. I got out of prison early, and one day, I just had enough. This is a community where you actually lost 15,000 manufacturing employees? Yeah, our community is very rich and steeped in manufacturing, but it was a different type of manufacturing. Mm. Over the years, we've been uh, one of the world's largest producers of textiles. Uh, we had 12,000 employees in Dan River Mills, and that industry no longer exists. So we've put these programs in place to retool America. What we mean by retool America is give our young people the tools they need to manufacture something different. Sometimes opportunities come in the weirdest places. I looked in a paper, and I saw a saw operator. I had no idea what a machine shop was, though. And they had these CNC machines. When I stood in front of it, and I opened the doors, and I looked at the numerical control, I just got it. And I loved being there. These students walk into this space, and they can see the relevancy of it. They see modern technology, vibrant space, and they know instinctively that there's a future for them. What you guys are doing here, training our workforce, training the younger generation, bringing them up with the new technology, new skills, you guys are leading the way so we can keep those jobs here. It was all about putting the aggressiveness that I used on the street, the aggressiveness that I used in prison, into manufacturing and then taking it to a high level. If you're running two parts all the time, figure out how to run 100, figure out how to run 30 parts. And what it equates to is a cheaper part. Big companies need a profit. And if they can't get their profit right here, they believe they're programmed to think they have to go overseas. Most machine shops are only running at 20 or 30% of their capability. So if we can take it from 20 to 30% and take it up to 60, 70%, you're gonna bring all that work back. That's the message that we wanna get out. Manufacturing factories of today and tomorrow, this is it right here. These students actually can see taking those 3D models and turning those into complex shapes and hardware that they can hold in their hands yep. and see how that they can actually, the creativity they have, that they can turn that into something they can hold. Uh, I think that's what's so exciting and, and what our students are so excited about being a, a part of this first class here at the uh, Gene Haas Center. Recently, I've been able to take all my skills I've learned here at Danville Community College, put them together and compete in Skills USA National and place fourth place in CNC turning. Once I get out of school, I want to be able to build my own company just like how Titan has. So this awesome. is a real world manufacturing plant, but it's an educational institution. They're in school, they're learning technology, and you keep giving them those problems to solve. It helps them gain confidence, yeah. not only here, but on the outside. And that's what happens in the real world. When they're working for somebody else, they have to solve problems, they gotta fix things, they gotta like, make it happen. There is nothing I do more than make sure my quality is perfect. We're inspecting every fifth part, every tenth part. We're, we're visually looking at every single part. If we're dealing with tents, we're inspecting 100%, even though it's not called out. If you inspect your parts, you're not gonna have garbage. It's, it's as simple as that. It's amazing what some of these bright minds, the ideas that they have, 
I think it is a new model in training. Uh, I think it takes training to a whole new level in the, in the world of CNC manufacturing training. Um, and I think that it's going to make us very competitive here. I mean, this place is immaculate. It's beautiful. I love it. It's high tech. It's awesome. If somebody says you can't do something, take an honest look at it. And if you believe and know that it is possible, go after it, man, because we're all built different. We have different gifts. Go after it. And understand that there's a process and it takes time. If we're gonna step into a manufacturing facility, let's be exceptional. The secret is solving people's problems, finding a niche, and taking your quality to the highest level at an affordable price. That's the secret. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Boom. In Danville, Virginia, American built. Boom!